Hey guys, this is a tutorial on the Atmel Studio 6.2, uh, learning how to switch between debug wire and programming mode and back and forth. When I first got the Atmel Studio and my AVR Dragon, doing this was not an intuitive process, so um, I thought I'd put a little tutorial together. The first thing we're going to do is we're going we have a little sketch or program here, and I'm going to show you how to uh, go and program it, then go to debug, and then go to program. So first thing you want to do is make sure you have your debug wire set for your programmer. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and program the ATtiny84 in this case. We're going to click on memories. We're going to read the chip. We get a signature back. We click program. Everything's good. We hit close. So now we're going to go into debug wire, which is not uh, intuitive. So go up to debug start debugging and break and you'll get some pop-up messages so it fails to launch it wants to enable the dwin fuse you hit yes and then it says it fails hit abort we'll go ahead and still try again hit debug hit start debugging and here you're going to get a couple of more, I think, uh, pop-ups. Hit yes. Hit OK. And it still fails. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and debug the, uh, the dragon and plug it back in. So once you unplug the debugger and reconnect it, Go ahead and hit debug, start debugging, and you should go into debug mode where now you can step through your code with F11 and you can actually read your, uh, your port values. Click on port B and actually you can see which is um, high and which is low. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and try to program. So if you go ahead and try program, and you go ahead and read your chip, you're not going to be able to read it. You're going to get an error message. That's because the fuse is not set correctly. Now, to go ahead and set the fuse, you have to go back into debug. And you're going to hit a breakpoint. And then go up to debug. Hit disable debug wire and close. Now, that disables the the debug wire and now you can go ahead and go back to programming. I hope this was helpful because this took me a little bit of uh, trial and error to figure out and a lot of Google searching. And here we go, we go ahead and program. And that's it. Thanks for watching.